Hello everyone and welcome to the Modern Day Gamer. Yes, I did change my name like I said I was going to do. I figured out what I wanted to call my channel and so that is what I went. Today I'm going to have a little bit of a shorter video for you guys to listen to and as you can see by the title, it's just covering the topic of if Call of Duty can sustain its current uh, new game every year content and still uh, survive for another 10-15 years uh, or at least double its lifespan from what it is today which I, I don't I don't know how long it's been going I think since 2003 or 2002 something like that it's been going on that long um, which was a while ago and that's uh, you know that's 15 years this year will be the 15th installment uh, of the yearly title and um, that's a lot of games and that's a long time for a series to be going on yes there are series that have lasted longer yes there are series that um, were uh, dealing with the same things and they still survived through that so why would I question if Call of Duty was going to be able to make it well the big issue is there not there's not a lot of war content left uh, that Call of Duty can use they have not done World War One. They haven't done the Korean War, um, which I believe it's the Korean or the Vietnam War. I think it's the Korean War, and they haven't done the Civil or Revolutionary Wars, which they can't really do because there's no automatic weapons. So they really only have two war eras uh, to go without having to recycle, and nobody wants them to recycle um, because this year's game, as good as it is, and it. As good as it feels and to play and all that kind of stuff and sounds and looks, it's still just a lesser version of Call of Duty World at War. Call of Duty World at War had a monumentally more amount of guns, monumentally more amount of content, uh, maps, all that kind of stuff. And while I am not mad one bit about how this game um, works and plays and feels and all that kind of stuff, I still don't understand how you could ever um, have a game that lasts this long uh, whenever there is not that much content left to create on it. So just uh, tell me guys, express your concerns like I have here uh, in the comments below. Uh, do you, are you concerned about Call, the future of Call of Duty which is a cornerstone of gaming in general and keeps people coming back every year to play video games regardless of age? Um, as long as they like the series and they enjoy uh, enjoy it. Are you concerned at all with the future of war-based fighter games in general? Um, as many of them are just kind of reusing content in war, uh, maybe your concern is not with Call of Duty, but just as the uh, war shooter genre as a whole. Um, let me know in the comments below. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. If you liked the video, leave it a like, and if you really enjoyed it and want other people to see it, maybe it's a talking point, go ahead and share this video on Facebook, uh, share it on Twitter, share it wherever you share your things at, Tumblr, I don't know, um, and let me know what you guys think of, of Call of Duty as a whole, if you like it, if you dislike it, if you're happy if it's going to go, whatever, down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the support from all of you. Uh, sorry for the shorter video today, but I will be putting out another one uh, here soon. So thank you guys and peace.